Hello, this is Nathan from One Web Street, the right place to discover digital presence strategies for your business. In today's video, we will be discovering the online platform Canva and better understanding how you can leverage this online platform to make basic graphics, which can be used on your social media channels or for a featured post on your blog and many other different applications. Um, in order to start, I suggest you create an account by heading over to canva.com and they have three different login options, either by using your Facebook uh, login credentials or with Google. Additionally, you can sign up with your email address. After you've signed up and gone through the login process, you can go ahead and come to the site and fill in your information here and then head over to the dashboard. All right, now we are in the dashboard of Canva. As you can see, we have different design options at the top. Um, once you've created some designs, they are saved and easily viewable here. Um, additionally, on our left-hand side, there are some different options um, to help manage everything, but for right now, we're in the right place. So. I'm just gonna go over the different options of Canva and kind of give you an idea of how you can easily um, make different graphics and um, the options for um, creating a design. Canva already has a variety of different uh, graphic designs that you can choose from and different dimensions to choose from. So for example, if you want to make a social media post, this um, right here is 800 by 800 pixels, which you can see right here at the bottom. And subsequently, each um, image at the top has different dimensions to choose from, 1024 by 768, and so on and so forth. Now, if you don't know what a pixel is, a pixel is basically um, different dots on your screen, and the number of pixels um, are basically, it's a sizing reference. So it's similar to centimeters or inches, um, and it's just a way to measure the size of a, an image. So um, if you're familiar with different social media platforms, different platforms prefer um, certain sizes of pixels for an image. Um, additionally, if you are working on a website, um, that is also, it is also important to know um, different pixel sizes for specific images um, when you're developing your site. Now, if you already know the custom design uh, in terms of pixels for a design you wanna work on, you can just click up here on the right and click use custom designs and then um, you can specify a specific width and height. You can also um, decide if you want it in pixels, millimeters, or inches. All right, so I'm gonna use a pre-configured design just uh, to make things a little easier. So I'm just gonna click on this social media uh, design right here. We have social media and it's 800 by 800 pixels. So by clicking on it, um, it opens up a new tab and I will be able to see my design. Okay, so after clicking on it, uh, it opened up in a new tab and now I can make different changes um, to create my design. So um, this is the basic layout for what it looks like when you are working on a design. Um, up here, you can title it. This is important. So I'll just put uh, social media test, design test. Okay. Um, what, you, what you title it is not too important, um, just so that it's easily uh, referable to later and you remember what it is. All right, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna begin by kind of looking over what our options are here on the left-hand side. All right, so to begin, there's a search column. So you can search for anything. Um, and there are many different stock images that Canva has that you can uh, buy through Canva. Um, additionally, there are images that are free and can easily be incorporated. So let's say um, I wanted to find a tree. So I'm gonna search for a tree. All right, and we have many different options um, of trees. Now you can also see that on the bottom right corner, um, it says free. So that means that if you wanna use this image, it's free to use. So that's pretty cool. Now keep in mind though that um, eventually as you scroll down, 
Uh, it starts with the free images, but then eventually there are uh, paid images. So for example, this one is a dollar, this one's a dollar. Um, I believe, I haven't seen any images that are more than a dollar, um, but it is uh, possible, I assume. Um, okay, so let's just say that we want to incorporate a tree. So I like this one, so I'm gonna click on it. So now it has been imported into our future graphic. Now, um, if you wanna manipulate how this looks, you can go to any of the corners and you can change the size of the image. Additionally, you can um, move the image to different areas of your screen. One feature of Canva that I really like is that it really helps you with where the image is in relationship to other text or other images you have on the uh, design you're working on. So for example, if I wanted to center this image, I'm now, right now it's centered because I have that dotted line. So if I keep on moving down, 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 boom. Now that is totally centered uh, on this design because as you can see, the dotted images have it aligned right in the middle. Now, um, if I, I can also move along the horizontal axis and go back and forth um, with how you know different how how I want it to be configured. All right, so those are um, the that is the search option. Additionally, you can look for photos here at the top, or if you just want um, it to be broken down into illustrations, then it will limit um, the results to illustrations. Okay, so you can play around with that search. Uh, option and basically, you know, search more or less for anything. All right, layouts. Okay, so um, within Canva, they have pre-configured layouts. So um, you can scroll through these and see if there's anything you like, um, and then it will just import everything. So for example, if you're like, oh, I really like this one. Okay, and then um, as you can see, these different elements on in, within the image are, um, you can change them. So for example, let's say, oh, I don't like this text. Uh, I wanna get rid of that. So I'm just gonna click on this text right here and in the top right corner, there's a trash button. So I'm gonna click on that and poof, it's gone. All right, um, for, or let's say, you know, this background image, I really don't like that. I just want the coffee, okay? So I'm gonna hit delete image. Okay, so now there's nothing. Um, all right, so if I, didn't want to do that, and I want to go back, uh, let's see here, then I can go to the top left corner and click undo. So if I click undo, then now we have it back. If I click undo again, then I have that text back. All right, so if I click on the outer image and I hit delete, then I can either delete the image or delete the element. What does that mean? So if you hit the delete image, you can see that the element of where that image was stored is still there. If I go back and I hit undo, and let's say instead I hit um, delete element, then the whole background is gone. All right, so that's the difference between delete image and delete element. I'm gonna get rid of everything because I want to start over. All right, so that's what the different layout options are. Um, if we click here, then it looks like there's some other options, but these are only available if you have a paid account, which I don't and that's not what this tutorial is going over, just going over the basic account. Um, but as you can see here, if I scroll down, there are many different options for different pre-configured layouts. So if there's something that you really like, you can you know, look through this and um, you can add it and then you know, uh, change maybe certain elements if there's parts of it that you don't like or that you do like and wanna incorporate. All right, so the next part is elements. All right, so for elements, um, there are many different um, elements that you can configure into a graphic. Everything from photos, okay? This is similar to the search option up here. We have grids, okay, if I click on grids. Okay, so these are different grids that you can choose from, um, and then with each grid, you can um, select a photo and it will take up the entire grid. So, you know, if you wanted a, one, two, four different pictures, one in each um, grid, then this would be a great element to use. Um, but we're not gonna use it for now, so I'll delete that. All right, so those are the grids. 
If you want to incorporate a frame, there are many different frames to choose from. Uh, the, these frames are similar to the grids that we just looked at, but then additionally, if we scroll down, you can see that there's other kind of interesting features. Um, so with this one, if we, let me see if I can find an image, a photo to incorporate to kind of better help you understand this feature. All right, so I'm gonna take this photo and put it in here. All right, so now you can see that it kind of changes how the image looks, right? So if I click on this and I go to the trash, I can either delete the image or I can delete the element, right? So if I delete the image and we still have the element left over, but I'm gonna get rid of that too. All right, so back to elements. And um, so again, there are many different frames to choose from. Um, and we have more kind of frame looking styles down here. Um, and you know, they go on and on. So you can check those out. All right, um, back to our elements. All right, and I feel like that shapes. Okay, here we have many different shapes to choose from. You know, um, you can play around with how you incorporate these. You know, let's say we add this, and let's say uh, up here in the left corner, I can choose the color. So they have these pre-configured colors to choose from, but if you don't like any of these, you can click on the plus sign, and then you can move around and kind of decide what color you like. So I want to go for an orange and I move this over. It's nice because it shows what it looks like in real time. All right, and we can kind of play with the orientation by uh, clicking on this kind of arrow um, and that changes the orientation of this image. We could um, put it here. I could make it longer, you know, um, and then let's say I wanted to add text. This is awesome. Um, all right, so this is our text. I can change, uh, use many different font styles. Um, let's see here, this is awesome. All right, I can change the font size. Let me make it a little bigger. All right, and I can move it over this element. Additionally, I can change the um, font color. What would be a good, that doesn't work. I'm trying to find a, a color that kind of works with the orange. Okay, and we can use those, use the awesome feature to help center it over the image, okay? This is an example of how you could incorporate a shape. Obviously there are many different shapes to choose from. All right, so I'll get rid of these. Go back to my elements. All right, now we have lines. Okay, we have many different lines to choose from. Uh, again, you know, you can play around with how these look. Uh, you can change the orientation. You can change the color. Um, so there's many different ways to incorporate uh, these lines, okay? And there's many different lines to choose from, as you can see. Uh, how does that one look? Yeah, all right, lines. Next one is illustrations. Okay, so the, the illustrations that you see here, I believe are also available by um, searching here in the top. Oh, go back to elements. All right, so uh, we can go over many different elements and um, search for them if you're looking for a particular image, uh, but there's many to choose from. All right, and uh, then we have icons. So if there's a certain icon that you want to incorporate into an image, again, many different icons to choose from and play around with. If I want to use this one, for example, I can change, oh, I can change how it's oriented on the screen. Whoop, how did that happen? Okay, I can, ch I can change how it's oriented on the screen or additionally, I can change the color like before, all right? So you really just need to kind of play around and um, look at what what there are, what, what different um, elements you can add into an image. Here we have charts, um, okay, and it looks like, oh wow, so by double clicking on this image, we can customize these different, you know, uh, 
we can uh, edit what what values appear um, for this graph. Okay, so there's many different um, applications for how you can incorporate different elements. The last element is a I love Canva. Probably won't be using this. This is just a kind of a promotional thing for Canva and helping you um, easily incorporate Canva um, into your image. But most of the time, I don't find that I need to use any of these. All right, next is text. Here we have a bunch of different text to choose from. Again, as I had showed you earlier, you can use a variety of different fonts, different font sizes, different colors. There's also pre-configured font designs, like this one's kind of cool. It's okay, and that kind of shows you, um, you know, this pre-configured font design. You can, if you're like, oh, well, I don't like this font, well, then you can click on it and be like, oh, well, I want to see how this looks, and then, you know, uh, you can play around with that. Or uh, alternatively, I don't like this one, so I'm going to change that to, you know, another font. Um, so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of options for making changes. I'm gonna click this and delete it. Okay, and so as you can see here, many different um, design options to choose from. All right, on to the next one, our background. Um, if you have a background image or a background color you wanna set, um, for example, it's easy to set a background color. If we just had yellow, we can have green, orange, um, many different colors to choose from. Again, you have the option to you know, pick a specific color that you like. Um, if you know the color code, um, then you can enter that here. Um, all right, and then uh, if you scroll down, you can have different designs um, for the background and kind of see how these different designs look. Um, after you've selected one, if you only want it to, you know, take up part of the page, you can move it around and be like, oh, I want it only over here, you know, for example. So there's many different options. All right, that's the background. And then lastly, uploads. So for here, you can upload your own image. You know, for example, if you wanted to upload your logo or um, just about anything can be uploaded and then you can easily just drag and drop into your image here. All right, um, and then, so I'm just gonna go to a pre-configured layout. Uh, let's see what we have here. Um, can we have the subscribe button or the scribe image? Okay, so this looks pretty nice. Um, let's say that I just wanted to use it as is, then what I could do is click on download. Um, and then we have different download types. We have a JPEG, um, a PNG, PDF, or print. So generally for social media or other digital uses, you're gonna download an item either as a JPEG or as a PNG. And the difference is there are two different file formats, essentially. And the difference is that a PNG, one nice, for, um, one nice feature of a PNG is that the background can be transparent, all right? So for example, um, let's say I wanted to delete the background. So now we have a clear background. And so if we wanted, to, if we wanted that to be transparent, then we would need to download this and save it as a PNG. Alternatively, if you don't care about the background being transparent, then you can just download it as a JPEG. Another thing to note is that JPEG formats generally are f smaller uh, file sizes in relationship to PNG file formats, and this is especially helpful for if you're making graphics for a website and you're trying to keep the overall file sizes on your website as small as possible. That's helpful for search engine optimization. It's helpful for um, loading pages. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so if we wanna download that, I'm gonna click JPEG, click on download. Okay, and now we have, um, it's asking if we want to remove watermarks. Um, it says you can remove watermarks by purchasing a license for premium elements. Um, I'm, for this example, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I understand. Um, so here we have, you know, do you want to buy um, this element? And, you know, it's making it easy for you to buy that. But 
Uh, let's see here. I do not want to buy this element because I just wanted to give an example of how this works. So this is a little more challenging. Let me delete all these. And let's see here. Okay, um, we have the 20% off. Let me see if I can just make something here really quick. Um, all right, so let's go to shapes. And let's say, just kind of choose a color. Okay, so you can see that the shape is now over the text. So if I click on a range, then I can move it back and now there are te our text is there. Okay, 20% off. All right, this is a really simple image. Um, I just wanna show the functionality of how this works. JPEG, download, saving your design. Okay, and now we can just um, open it here and boom, there we go. There's our image and we can save that and use that for later. All right, so that was just a basic overview of Canva. Um, I don't wanna, there's, a, there's several other features but um, I was able to kind of go over the main features and just kind of give you an idea of how to use the program. Um, I, I really recommend that you uh, create an account and kind of play around with the different functions and see if you can make some um, interesting designs for your business. Um, if you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to comment either on the blog post below or in the as a comment on our YouTube channel. Um, we will get back to you and um, possibly make subsequent videos to follow up with this one. Um, again, we hope that you found this content helpful. If you have any further questions, uh, be sure to check out One Web Street for your digital presence needs. And we will be coming out with more videos on our YouTube channel um, as well as content on our blog. Again, my name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.